Contrary to popular belief, sugar is very good for vaginal health. Topical sugar, that is. You may have been told to stay away from sugar if you have a yeast infection. That's because when there's too much sugar in the body, the immune system becomes suppressed and unable to ward off any bad bacteria. And that can lead to an overgrowth of yeast in the vagina. So you may think that sugar applied topically causes vaginal infections, but it's absolutely not true. In fact, quite the opposite is true. Topical sugar has been shown to be as effective as an antibiotic metronidazole in curing bacterial vaginosis infections. The study shows that in 560 women who were treated with one of the three options, the placebo, sugar gel, and metronidazole, that the sugar was as effective as the metronidazole in actually curing bacterial infections. The reason is likely because the sugar is acting as a prebiotic or food for the lactobacilli bacteria that reside in our vaginas. Lactobacilli produces lactic acid, which contributes to the acidic pH nature of the vagina, which ranges from 3.5 to 4.5 during the reproductive years. So, if we don't feed the lactobacilli bacteria, our vaginal pH changes and becomes more basic, which means higher than 4.5, leading to other bacteria such as E. coli and Giardiella setting in and creating bacterial vaginosis infection. What can you do? Well, it's important to recognize that just because we're taught that orally consumed and metabolized sugar leads to yeast infections, it doesn't mean that topical sugar produces the same effects. In fact, it's the opposite. Topical sugar is good for the vagina. Challenge the preconceived notions around vaginal health as you age. Instead of avoiding sugar, we need sugar for the vagina. If you like this video, please like, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel.